the tiger that came to tea. Once there was a little girl called Sophie and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly there was a ring at the door. Sophie's mummy said, I wonder who that can be? Can you think who it might be? It can't be the milkman because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer because this isn't the day he comes. And it can't be daddy because he's got his key. We better open the door and see. Sophie opened the door and there was a big furry stripy tiger. The tiger said, excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have some tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, of course, come in. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't take just one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful. Hum! And he still looked hungry. So Sophie passed him the buns. But again, the tiger didn't eat just one bun. He ate all the buns on the dish. And then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake. And there was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the milk jug and all the tea in the teapot. And then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. Oh, wonder what he's going to eat. Oh, he ate all the supper that was cooking in the saucepans and all the food in the fridge and all the packets and tins in the cupboard. And he drank all the milk and all the orange juice and all daddy's beer and all the water in the tap. Oh my goodness, what a tiger. Then he said, thank you for all my, I think I'd better go now. And off he went. <gasps> Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for daddy's supper. The tiger has eaten it all. <gasps> and look at all the clearing up that mummy had to do. And then Sophie found she couldn't have a bath. Why couldn't she have a bath? Because the tiger had drunk all the water in the taps. Just then, Sophie's daddy came home. So Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drank all their drink. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and go to a cafe. So off they went out in the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to the cafe. There they go, look. All walking down to the cafe. And they had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and ice cream. In the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots more things to eat. And they also bought a very big tin of tiger food in case the tiger should come to tea in again. But do you think he did come again? Would he come for tea again? No, he never came. And that was the story of when the tiger came to tea.